Hi, I'm Will Adams, and this is Honeybrook Tools and Woodworks. Doing something a little bit different this afternoon. It's about 5 o'clock. I have spent the day uh, mostly packing up tools uh, for shipping for customers. And it's the end of the day, and I feel like making something. So I have chucked up here in the lathe a piece of, I believe this is birch. Uh, this is a piece of reclaimed wood that I got a couple of years ago. They were, uh, dismantling a barn over in East Montpelier, Vermont, which is, uh, this particular barn was, I don't know, probably 15 minutes away from me. And I bought a whole bunch of the beams that, uh, served as the floor joists for that barn. So I've got this chucked up. I'm going to make a mallet just because. Let's turn. So I needed to turn the camera off for a minute because this blank was really out of balance and if I'd left it on and uh, turned it around on the film um, or on a camera, it would have been nothing but just vibrations and it wouldn't have been a very good quality video. Anyway, so you can see now I've got this turned roughly to round shape. Um, let's see, this is... It's 12 inches, so I'm going to figure I want about a 3-inch head on this. Um, so I'm just going to mark here. That's like the top of the head. Um, maybe 3.5 inches. Let's see. Yeah, 3 all right, so I'm just going to turn this on to get my rough marks. I don't know, I might end up making this a little bit bigger. I don't know, I'll figure it out as I go.
So I'm going to stop here for just a second and um, talk about what kind of kind of what my thinking is. Whoops! At this point, um, I'm doing this on the fly, um, and this piece down here, um, I'm looking at the proportions, and I'm just not. If I were to do this again, I think I would make this. I, not I think I know I would make this a little bit bigger with a different um, different transition from the end into the handle. Um, I mean it feels okay, but I think uh, just from a design d design standpoint, that's too small and and out of proportion to the rest of the mallet. Um, but again, I'm just doing this for fun and. You know, every time you make something, it's an opportunity for you to, to learn and to think about design uh, because design is important even for um, something as utilitarian as, as a mallet. Uh, the more you think about design <clears throat> um, just in everyday objects or everyday tools that you use, uh, the more you'll be thinking about design on some of maybe the more uh, refined pieces that you decide to make in your shop. Uh, at least that's just, that's my thinking. So I'm going to clean this up. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of, um, beeswax as a finish. Um, and then I'm going to part it off and it'll almost be time to say good night for the day. Um, at least good night to the shop. So, Let's, uh, let's finish this off. Okay, so obviously this is a really 
simple design. It's, it's a utilitarian tool. Um, I really don't like this. Um, that said, the wood feels really good in the hand. It's really soft um, and the beeswax is just lovely. Um, and I'm looking at the time. I've got another one of these blanks. I think I'm gonna make another one and see if I can improve upon this. Be right back. Okay, before I actually start turning, I just wanna, um, this, is, this is the blank. Um, there's, I, I, ha I have to figure out how I wanna orient this on the lathe. As you can see, this end has some checks in it. And I don't know how deep into the wood those checks are gonna go. So I don't want to use this end as the head, just in case uh, those, those checks go deeper than, you know, I would really want them to. So I, I'm hoping what I can do is if I make this end the head, I'm ho hoping that when I turn down the handle, um, I'm going to turn away a lot of this, uh, the more dodgy kinds of uh, parts of the, of the blank. Um, it's got a knot here. There's a barm bean. What do you want? So, uh, again, I'm going to turn this round and then I'll come back. Okay. So that piece that I started with turned out to be a lot dodgier than I thought it was. Um, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. So um, this will burn well, but it's not going to end up being a mallet. So... I went out to the barn, found another blank, um, and we're going to go with this. Um, so, let's see what we can come up with.
So, I still don't love this. This should be bigger. I, I turned that down smaller than it should be. Um, but it's, I think it's better than it was. Again, I'm just having fun at the end of the day. But again, I think it's important to think about design and proportion regardless of what you're doing, even if it's just a, uh, a utilitarian tool. Um, I mean, that's gonna bother me. I would never, um, I would never sell something like this, but um, just giving me something to think about. I'm gonna finish this off. I'll put some, um, beeswax on it and then call it a night six o'clock There you have it. Just need to saw that off. And uh, actually feels pretty good. It's pretty well balanced. Um, I don't know if you noticed when I parted it off uh, using the parting tool, I, I, I turned a little um, concave. That way it sits on the bench. So that's that just a little bit of uh, turning for fun here at the end of the day. Interested in your comments. If you think I'm uh, particularly on design, um, I don't like this. I think it's too small, um, but maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Um, but let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, if you like this, please click like, comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Before I head out for the day, <laughs> um, this is the bench mallet that I use all the time when I'm, when I'm doing uh, chisel work. Um, and this, I think, has a better overall balance to it um, in terms of design. So this one, you can see that they're pretty similar. This one's a little bit longer. The problem that I have with this one is I think the design on this mallet, um, I think the curves are a little bit more elegant. And this, I think the end uh, is... 
better defined, if you will, than this one. I think the round, I think this round portion, ignore the little nubby, I, I just don't think that from a design standpoint, that really is all that great. Um, the other thing I mean for my hand, um, the swell in this one is a little bit, um, a little bit better for me. Um, again, being maybe a little bit nitpicky on this one. Um, I might have, if I were to do this again, maybe made this end a little bit bigger around. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I've been using this for two years and, and I love it. Um, so again, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and again, just turn in for fun. Um, making for fun. We got to do that. Thanks.